in today's video we will be looking into activity formatter how we can add activity formatter on the custom table so before getting started let's understand what is activity formatter so activity formatter gives you a way to present the audit history of a particular record out of the box there is an activity formatter set up on the task table and if you are extending that task table to create your table then it will be out of the box available on your tables also as long as the table is audited you can use an activity formatter to sh show personalized list view of the history means what exactly happened to that record what exactly got changed on that record uh, and you can configure based on the field also so for today's video okay let's get uh, let's create a new custom table so i will first go to tables okay and in in table We'll go to tables. We'll create a new table. Which table I should create? Let's just check. So we'll create a new table. We'll give it a name like um, what job, and name will be on this good job. It will not extend any table. I really should not extend a table. That's what I feel. Okay. So um, then we will create a new application. Okay. For the same with the with the manage job. Okay. Job or I will give job or matter. Okay. And then we will add couple of fields underneath it. So what I can give, I can give title, title of the job, then what else, we can give location of the job, of the job, which will be a reference with, and it will reference to yeah you are right it will be referencing to semen underscore location table so semen underscore location then we will give who added the job so we can give recruiter it should also be a reference field I'm adding any random thing, okay, just to create some dummy table. So it will be reference field, it will be reference to this underscore. Oh, uh, we can simply, in simple word, we can call it as user table. And, oh, sorry, I missed. User table, and then we will add some choice field. I'll give state let's make it applied oh sorry choice okay. and we can save this up so once we get once we save this out we will add certain choices to to the table so now i will open this what we can save is that state field and here will be like we'll add some choices choices will be like draft I'm adding anything okay don't take it this seriously Read. and then the last option will add it as rejected perfect so we have this four options also I'll save it out 
and now if we go to this table right if we go one step back mm -hmm. this and we do the show form so this is how the table looks like so we have all this option okay but why are those options oh I really should come right let's do configure dictionary four choices are there go over here let's see what happened okay but it doesn't matter okay so we'll go back to the form okay and this is the form we have right now it has certain things out this is pointing toward the user table this is pointing toward the location table and so on now if I create one record for example if I create a record with a able tutor and I will give some location. This is this. I will give uh, where developer. Okay. And if I save this out, so it doesn't show any activities, right? So we will be acting the activities now. Activity using the activity filter. So how we can do that? We have to go to all and in the filter navigator just select just type formatter okay and we'll get this system ui formatters okay i will open it into new tab and in ui formatter right so we are creating this activities filter right so we just keep in mind that you have to add this as an activity formatter okay activity underscore xml so I will just copy it out. I will click new because we we want to create a new formatter. I will give it like job. I will give it a name as job. Then I will keep formatter as activity dot xml. Then we will select the job table. Okay. So we can do job. and it should give you underscore job this is the table which you have created and you have to just submit it out so now we have submitted the formatter okay we have created a new formatter now if i go to the form again and if i re reload it out say so there is nothing right why there is nothing right the answer for that is like you have to bring that to the form so for that you have to go to the configure form design under form design let's create a section for the same so what I will do I will create a section come on I will create a section I will give it a name like formatter and now you can see this activity filters right you have to simply i will make it one column only okay why it would and i will just pull this activity filter and put it over here okay and save the form now let's see the difference if we get it on the form so i will go one step back okay and if I re reload the form now see if we get something now we get got activity formatter but nothing is there right no activities nothing why so 
we got a formatter but we can't see the activity so for example if i change it out okay now from able tutor to someone else for example abraham lincoln and i'll save it out let's see if something happens nothing happened right why it doesn't happen because you have not configured on which particular fib you want to see the activities right so for that you can go via filter activity okay configure available fields and here now you can simply you got this fields over here you can simply save it out now okay and once it gets saved let's try so now you i you started seeing this table right so you got two activities previously it was able tutor then you change it out to abraham lincoln pretty amazing right now let's do it for the title also i will change it from software developer to a ba title okay ba title and if i save this out let's see if we get this out or not perfect we got this b also now in some sense you will be like you i don't want to see the activities for all the fields right so it's pretty easy to configure those also you have to just click on this filter activity you can see all over here okay all the fields are checked if i just deselect, deselect the title one right okay just look at the activities if i remove this out okay it got vanished from the form so you can personalize it out the way you want okay according to me the activity filter is very important entity okay it gives you a complete information on the form what exactly happened to your record based on the field which you have configured right so according to me it's pretty pretty useful entity okay so this is all for today's video in today's video we have seen what is the activity formatter how we can configure the activity formatter how we can add it add the activity formatter on custom table and how we can personalize it okay hope you like this video okay if you have any queries questions please drop a comment and i will try to answer the same okay till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you